Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Stephanie and today I'm going to be stuffing into my sinking funds and in my cash wallet. So let's jump right in. So here is my cash breakdown cards that I made that I carry with me. And in here, I'm going to be stuffing $230. And then I have a breakdown of all the denominations that I pulled out from the bank. So I'm just gonna stick that back there. And then I'm gonna put my sinking funds to the side and show you my wallet. So in here, um, I usually use this back part of my mo term to store my money. And then in here, I usually will keep my uh, cash breakdown card and whatever toonies and loonies that I collect. So in Canada, we have um, dollar and two dollar coins. And then all I do is I put them in to these piggy banks that I picked up from Dollar Tree. So I just put the numbers at the back. So there's one in there and then $2 here. And these are my only sort of savings challenges that I have going. And I just put them in here. And then I'm just going to count out my money for the week. So as I said, it is a total of $230. So five, $10 in fives and then ten dollars in ten and then twenty forty sixty eighty one hundred twenty forty sixty dollars in twenties and then I have one fifty dollar bill that I will be stuffing so that is it so let's jump in let's start stuffing for the week so as you can see, my envelopes are clearly all empty. I've spent my money for the week. So let's put in some money for my envelope. So this week I am going to be doing $20. So I'm just going to take one twenty and put it in here. Next is going to be for gas and gas is going to get $45 this week. So a two twenties and a five for a total of 45. And I'm actually thinking about maybe just including sort of how my spending is going for the week in here, sort of before I stuff and not doing um, maybe a separate video. You guys let me know down in the comments if you guys would prefer to just see me doing my tracking as I'm going along, and I can definitely do that. And then for grocery, I am going to put in here $40. So that is a total of two twenties, so 20 and $40. And I hope everyone is having a fabulous October with the full moon this month. It has been emotionally like hectic and crazy, but you know, I still count it all of, you know, as my husband would say, count it all joy. So, you know what, I got to just take the good with the bad and, you know, try to just be thankful because that is something that I am definitely working on. So that is my wallet. And I'm just going to put my coin jars aside because I am done with these. And I can't wait to, you know, see how much is in there at the end of the year. That will be excellent. So I am going to just go into now my sinking funds. And so I hope everyone's savings is going well. I know sometimes it's kind of hard that, you know, you see other people kind of stuffing a lot of money and I don't want you to get discouraged because you're not putting in the same denominations. Definitely, you know, for someone who is, you know, has maybe not so much money coming in, it's still great to see any progress, at least to me. So I'd rather see a little bit of progress and not maybe getting to uh, my goals as quickly, but then, you know, making sure all the bills are paid, the lights stay on, the hydro, everything stays on, rather than feeling like I got to put everything into envelopes. So... The first envelope that will be getting money is for pets. My baby girl, my kitty, she is going to be getting $20 this week. Let me grab a pen. And so in here right now for pets, I have $405. So I'm just going to take this out. And I normally will get a big bag of cat food 
sort of um, starting at the beginning of the month. And then it will last me, honestly, a, cat, a big, a large, the extra large bag of cat food lasts for a few months, I want to say. But I definitely will keep you guys uh, posted. Next time I actually buy it, then I can get a better gauge. But mostly this money is going in here um, for sort of cat expenses. If there's any emergencies with her, then I know I have the cash and it doesn't need to go on a credit card. Or even if I pay it with a credit card, then I know I can pay myself back. So in here right now, I have a total of one, two, three, four hundred and twenty five dollars. So that is coming along nicely. And baby girl will be good if she's not feeling well, you know, I never try to put things out into the atmosphere, but you know, I'm a realist too. So you never know. And then next will be for my envelope. My birthday is in November and I am super excited. So I've been just kind of saving up some money, you know, so when it does come, I can do all the things and enjoy my birthday. So it, for my birthday envelope, I am going to, or for myself, I should say, I'm going to add a $20 bill. And so now in here, I have a total of one hundred and twenty forty sixty seventy eighty five so that is excellent so hopefully by my birthday i'll have a good two hundred dollars just kind of spend on some things that i want um that are really not necessarily needs but you know a girl has her wants so in here now i have 185 so for extras, as I keep saying to you guys, I'm really trying to beef this up so I can have some money in here, you know, as an emergency fund, as a buffer. So it will be getting $50 this week. And I have in here a total of, let's see. So right now I have 680. So let's add this in. And now in here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, 50, 7, 720, and now a total of $730. So that's fabulous. I'd love to see this get to, you know, at least $1,000 as a buffer and emergency savings. So now I said I have a total of 730, and that was $50 that I added. And then for Christmas, Christmas now has 380. So in Christmas, I have now one, two, three, fifty, and I'm going to add $20 to Christmas in gifts. So let's start over again because I should have added that first, right? So one, two, three, three, fifty, three, seventy, three, ninety, and now I have a total of 400 in here. So that is fabulous. So let's just put this back first. So now Christmas in gifts has 400 in total. And then travel this week, I am going to, I keep going back and forth. So I'm going to add $10. So I keep going back and forth. I'm definitely not doing anything international, but I don't know if I want to spend this money and do something you know, sort of in town for my birthday or just kind of stay home and do something low key, which I definitely am a low key person. Um, I'm very introverted and I like staying home. So I don't know. I think I might just continue to save for like a big trip. I don't know. You guys let me know in the, down in the comments. Should I take a little break, do something here or just kind of go for the goal and save up a couple thousand dollars and have a big trip? So now in travel, it has one two, three, 400, 410, 20, and 30. I mean, $500, if I can kind of save that up, would be good for like a little in-town trip. And so now in here, I added, sorry, $10. I was going to put 20 because I'm looking at that. So now it has 430. And so the next category that I'm going to be stuffing for is my business expenses. And right now in business expenses, I did make a withdrawal not too long ago, and now I have $80 in there. And lastly, I'm going to add this $5 for a total of $50, $70, $75, $80, and now $85. 
and that is going towards my small business expenses and things I need to pick up. Um, majority of my stuff I will purchase online and then I will track it sort of for the week and then I will keep you guys updated sort of where I spent it and how much it was. So right now there is $85. So that was five in total of 85. So right now, um, renovations has a thousand dollar slip. So I just made these, um, this is what our Canadian $1,000 bill looks like. It is no longer in circulation, but you probably could request it maybe from the bank if they have. And then for backyard, it also has another thousand K slip. And this is also in the bank. So for a total of $2,000 in terms of renovations and backyard, which really are, one in the same. I will continue to save for both. As I mentioned before, um, the backyard fence may um, be very costly. Um, as I said, the neighbors kind of did theirs. I asked and he, the guy had said it would be roughly around 65. And that means that if our lot is bigger, then it would probably be closer to maybe seven. So I'm hoping things kind of taper off, hopefully by next spring in terms of cost of wood and stuff like that. And that way I can get my fence done and have a little bit of privacy or it might be just maybe like a chain link fence until, you know, things kind of simmer down, which would be a lot um, more cost efficient because my girlfriend who is actually in the same area did hers and she said that she just did a chain link. That way she can keep her dogs and stuff in and not worry about the lumber cost because it is very expensive right now. So let me know if you guys are putting off sort of renovations and things like that because of the price or, you know, I feel like that's the reason why a lot of home prices are, the prices are going up so much. I never thought about it that befo before, but definitely with the cost of lumber, it would affect sort of housing prices as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cash stuffing. And if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe when you're leaving and also turn on your notifications. And if you enjoyed it, definitely hit that like button and then I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.